Every day we use network services such as the internet and FTTH based telephone services. Introducing 10G EPON Control LSI technology, a technology that will make these services easier to use and enable them to evolve further. So first, what is 10G EPON? NTT provides a high-speed optical communication service over optical fibers. An EPON is a network system that splits a single optical fiber coming from an NTT building into many fibers so that the original fiber can be shared by multiple home users. Today, the optical access service for detached houses uses 1G EPON which sends data at 1 gigabit per second. The new 10G EPON raises the speed by a factor of 10 to 10 gigabits per second. Let's look closely at the configuration of the 10G EPON. From left to right are an OLT located at an NTT building, a splitter, and ONUs located in customers' houses. In a real network, a single fiber from the NTT building is split to fibers to 8 to 32 houses. Here, we assume the fiber from the NTT building is split to the three houses. An NTT access network accommodates three different types of ONU. 10G symmetric ONUs, which can handle both upstream and downstream data at 10 gigabits per second. 10G asymmetric ONUs, which can only receive downstream data at the higher bit rate of 10 gigabits per second, and conventional 1G ONUs. Let's focus on the upstream signals that pass through the network. If several ONUs send signals simultaneously, these signals will collide with each other at the splitter and be corrupted. To prevent this, the OLT schedules the transmission time of each ONU separately. Since each ONU only sends signals in its specified time slot, these signals do not collide with signals from other ONUs and hence can reach the OLT without interference. The LSI recently developed by NTT provides all the functions needed to control a 10G EPON network, such as error correction, encryption, distribution of packets according to their destination addresses, and priority control, to say nothing of the signal scheduling function mentioned earlier. To achieve a transmission speed of 10 gigabits per second and also increase the capacity, the LSI is required to be able to process as many as 15 million packets per second. NTT Microsystem Integration Laboratories have satisfied this requirement by developing a dedicated high-speed processing circuit that performs both parallel and pipeline processing based on a new algorithm. As a result, we have developed a 10G EPON control LSI for the first time in the world. Let's observe actual optical signals flowing through the network. We can see that 10G symmetric transmission signals, 10G asymmetric transmission signals, and 1G symmetric transmission signals are all precisely controlled. The 10G EPON control LSI technology will enable the networks to evolve for the better in the near future.